Today we're going to talk about nerves. I get a lot of questions as to what a root canal is and how do you know if you need one. So we're going to talk about that. So a tooth is made of three parts. There's the outer enamel, that's basically the top of the tooth, the inner dentin, and the very center part, which is nerve tissue. It has nerves, blood vessels, and other cells in it. So this is actually alive under normal circumstances. Now, if the tooth has had cracks, a lot of trauma, a lot of fillings, a lot of decay, the nerve can actually die. When the nerve is first dying, it causes a lot of sensitivity to cold, and it sometimes will wake you up at night. When it's fully dead, it can actually lead to infections around the outside of the tooth, which can lead to swelling, and in some cases, even death. So it's not something you want to leave untreated. When a tooth does need a root canal, we make a hole from the top of the tooth, remove the nerve material, and replace it with a rubber filling material. Then we place a filling on top, and then we're either gonna put a crown on it, or if it's a front tooth and the hole is very small, place a small little white filling in it. So how do we know that a tooth needs a root canal? Well, we go by the status of the nerve and we test the nerve using a couple different things. First way that we test a nerve is using cold spray. We actually, it's a refrigerant spray that we spray onto a piece of cotton, and it looks like this. It's actually very minty. We take this cold cotton and we press it to the tooth that we're testing. The patient feels the cold, I ask them to raise their hand. And when the, when the feeling of cold goes away, I ask them to put their hand down. So normally a response will be, I feel cold, I don't feel cold. It should be very, very simple. It shouldn't be overly painful and um, you should be able to feel something. So if you do feel cold and it goes away fast, then your tooth is, the nerve is fine and you don't need to do anything. If you feel cold for an extended period of time, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 seconds, minutes even, that means that your nerve is dying. It's overactive and it will need to be removed. <clears throat> So if you put the cold on your tooth and you don't feel anything, that doesn't mean that you failed the test. That just means that the tooth is either completely dead or the tooth might be so thick that you actually can't feel cold on it. So then we use our next tool. This is an electric pulp tester. It works by using an electrical charge to tell you if the nerve is functioning. A nerve that is working will actually conduct an electrical charge and that's what this detects. First, we use a little bit of toothpaste on the tip and then place the tip onto the tooth that we're testing. Then I have the patient touch anywhere on this probe with uh, a few fingers. We touch this to the tooth and the electricity starts running through and it slowly ramps up. When the patient feels an electrical tingle, they just let go of the probe and the tingle stops. If the patient feels a tingle, that means that the tooth is working. If the patient doesn't feel a tingle, that usually means that the nerve is necrotic and it will need to be removed. I hope you were able to learn something about how we determine whether a tooth needs a root canal or not. And if you find this kind of thing interesting and you wanna give us a like or a comment, we really appreciate it. Have an excellent day.